So in this stage, what we're going to do is start planning our assets and we're going to focus on the first two groups and the third group, we're actually going to use some uh, Unreal Marketplace assets, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And in the previous step, what you were supposed to have done is in Quixel, uh, chosen and liked a series of things that you would potentially use for your environment. So now what we're going to do is we're going to narrow those down and we're going to use this organizer, which your teacher can give you as a handout. Uh, otherwise pretty simple there's three categories uh, rocks foliage and the last one is trees okay uh, and like I said we're focusing on the first two uh, in Quixel and the third one will be using something different so there's different types of rocks and what I've done is I've given you categories that you can keep and modify slightly but don't get too uh, don't change them too much because you're trying to keep uh, something uh, that will make your environment have a certain look. Now you could add one or two 3D models that, you know, you could change foliage to, uh, you could add a fourth category, which are some assets that you could. But what I'm saying is you want to have not too many. So you notice here we only have nine things in our scene or maybe 12. And the reason is simple because Quixel assets are very large and you have to plan them before. Uh, and, and so what we're going to do now is I'll just do one or two just so you can see. So here in my liked items, I will say, well, I like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say, you know, this is a large rock. Um, if I click on it here, huge canyon set. Okay, so let's say I'm, I'm going to use that one, Command Shift S. And I could technically just right away and alt tab and go so here i want large boulders i'm going to put that in here so that's the one i'm using and i could even name it uh you know uh, what was it called again it was called canyon sandstone mesa okay so what you're doing is canyon sandstone mesa and what i usually do with my students is they have to have this filled out before they're able to go into unreal engine and start doing some stuff Okay, so uh, again, you fill in the first two col columns and you could technically add a third if you wanted to add some really cool, uh, if you go back to bridge. And I did mention there are some, some structures that are really cool that you could have added that I didn't put in. Like, let's say I wanted to add this, uh, you know, random, maybe your third, a four, you create a fourth column called random and you just base, or these stairs, very cool. So, you know, castle stairs, maybe just adds a really neat ambiance, command S. And so I don't have a column in my, uh, and maybe you want to just create a new one, uh, insert uh, column left, and I could just go third random, okay? And I'll write, uh, you know, structures. You could include them. I didn't include them, but you could. The, the main thing that you want to keep in mind is that you're not going to want to download more than nine of these things. Okay, so uh, start with that. And once you've completed that, I'm going to advise that you show your teacher and uh, we'll explain what we do in the next uh, video to make sure that the plugin is working. All right. Thank you.